May Remax be the first voice we hear in the afterlife, and may her stories comfort us. This skull is deformed, flatter and longer than what we consider normal. Some people believe this is evidence the Inca were contacted by extraterrestrials, but it's more likely the result of hair binding, a human practice of deformation so ancient it predates written history. It also has evidence of trepanation, a medical procedure in which a hole is carved in the skull. I should be able to reach the sarcophagus now. Shit, I'll have to keep climbing.
The heathen emperor begged for his life to be spared. He offered the Spanish crown a room of three by six varas to be filled once over with gold and twice with silver. The crown, with great and undue benevolence, accepted this offer. Within two months, the ransom had been paid. The idolater, however, could not be trusted. When the cursed plans of his general surprise attack were exposed, Atawalpa fell to his knees, begging for mercy. His fate would be decided by fair trial, as the right of any man in the Spanish Empire. He was found guilty and sentenced to die, but before the execution he accepted the Lord and will be welcomed in the heavens above. Excerpt from an objective account of Pizarro in Peru by Ochoa Aceves. We can get through here. Give me a hand. <sighs> you see that? It must be Kwak Yaku. We have to get down there. Sure, this is a path. Come on, stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. Oh. Oh. Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. Oh. 
Oh, gotcha. You're right. I'm okay. Just a couple more stats. Okay. Okay. You're all right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. What do you think built all this? It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. I hope that this structure is here because we're on our way to that village. Me too. The bridge is down. Maybe we... This depicts the Incan god Cone. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Cone was in charge of the wind and the rain. Although, in some legends, he was only in charge of the weather that came from the south, while his brother, Pachacamac, was in charge of weather that came from the north. Lift it with those counterweights. Maybe. I bet this water is drinkable. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, I think I'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. <laughs> This describes something nearby. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within their eternal struggle. Cinnabar was used in the ancient past for producing a bright orange pigmentation on ceramics, murals, tattoos, and in religious ceremonies. This should come in handy. You know, if I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd, I'd have paid more attention in Boy Scouts. <laughs> Wasn't your thing? Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. Ever do Girl Scouts or Nature Camp as a kid? Hmm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always prefer the company of adults anyway. <sighs> yeah. I miss that guy. Me too. The Canopa serves as a receptacle for offerings of cocoa and animal tallow. The stuffed canopa is thrown into the farmer's field at the start of the harvest season as a gift for Pachamama, the mother god. It is said, if the present is accepted, the farmer will yield large crops in a successful breeding season. With Eli gone, your arm should heal quickly. Yeah, I feel a lot better already. did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. It's too heavy. Give me a hand. Water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. Mm. Oh, the bucket's leaking. Come on back. We'll try again.
Okay, Jonah, you can let go. Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's... A recipe seems to be a mixture of herbs. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. are different from the ruins in Mexico. Do your dad's notebook say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest, or... Or? I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. These two gods are the rulers of the Maya underworld, Shabalba, literally the place of fright. Fukub Kakwish, whose name means Seven Makor, was a monstrous bird who was said to carry the false sun in his beak. His subordinate was Hunkame, which means one death. They are both defeated and killed by the hero twins after challenging them to various sports and games in which both sides cheated. Fukub Kukwish lost his game of darts when the hero twins used blowpipes. How will we know when we're back on track to find the hidden city? My ruins are bound to stand up. Whatever weapon these were attached to has rusted away in the jungle's humidity. There's something etched on them. Can barely make it out. P H F Percy Fawcett. But we must be thousands of kilometers from his last known position. found something. There might be a way in. If it's not civilization, I'll wait here by the fire.
This gear is early 20th century. That starch shirt Forset may be getting all the attention, but I know his time is almost up. The world will remember the Timothy Walker as the man who finally found the lost city of El Dorado. We've set up camp in a canyon. It was a grueling journey to get this far. We'll rest here a few days, get our bearings. Some of the men need patching up, and I wouldn't mind one good night's sleep. The men say something came through the camp last night. The jungle is getting to them. I keep telling them that we're close and we need to keep it together. One of the scouts has found a temple of some kind up ahead. We'll start construction of bridges and ladders this morning and head out from camp this afternoon.
Damn this place. Damn this forsaken jungle. It holds a jewel just out of reach and then sweeps your legs out from under you. We've almost made it across that bottomless pit. Some kind of altar beckons from the other side, under a giant stone face that seems to mock our efforts. Something attacked the camp. Some men claimed it was panthers. Others said something more sinister. Half the crew insist on abandoning the expedition. I had to dress one man down, made an example of him. All I need is one more day, one more lousy day. must have abandoned this place in the middle of building it. Under the watchful eye of one of the Lords of Death lies the gate to Shabalba, where all must travel when transitioning from this life to the next.
find anything? Another of those Maya altars, and... And what? An old camp, gone to ruin. We should keep going. Right. It's such a relief to have Jonah back, especially after Miguel. At least Jonah didn't ask what happened. The Jaguars. I don't want him to worry. We have to stay sharp if we're gonna get ahead of Trinity. I think we can get out that way. Jonah, help me with this. On three, two, one. Are you okay? Help me with this. Your 
back looks bad. I'm gonna go make camp. Let me take a look at that. It's not pretty. <laughs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always try to protect him from my father, from himself, but I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, at the right time, he would still be here. If I had eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone. Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> when I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> I still have so many questions. Your dad created as many mysteries as he solved? Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of his shell to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? <laughs> Panic, probably. Hmm. You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Um, I lose everything else. No way. I like this world. It's... It's not perfect, but everything I love now is in it. treasure, the adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way will be fraught with trials. Lara, are you doing your best homework? The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad! The high walls of the castle beckon, taunting. Strange beasts 
cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. I have thought about it many times, and I'm still adamant that Lara be spared from this terrible grief, as you call it. Having her constantly thinking about her mother will only be more painful. It is better for her to be a child and not be burdened by such heavy thoughts. If you do not desist in this campaign of yours, I will not hesitate to terminate your employment at Croft Manor. The White Queen, locked away, but not forgotten. The excavation will soon reveal the secrets of this site. She discovers a strange set of hieroglyphs. Clues to the forbidden tomb, perhaps? Looks like there's something up there in the crow's nest. could shoot a fly of a cart at 100 paces. <laughs> Deadly accurate, for the most part. This looks like a figure from that game Mum and Dad used to play. But why is it out here, in the playground? There's an A scratched in the bottom for Amelia. I miss you, Mum. Amazing! Croft has entered a burial chamber that has not been disturbed in millennia. Now for the real treasure in the Forbidden Tomb. Ugh. Our hero must be quiet to well. avoid alerting the king. Who? Atlas. Ugh. Who? What does Atlas. Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time.
The Kingsguard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. The castle tower is taller than she thought. Our hero continues climbing, looking for another way in. Our hero spies another entrance. covers her footing and her goal. Now, onward to the Forbidden Tomb. These parapets are damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. She's so close, she can almost touch it. But an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. Spots away in below. She will have to be careful. Why do I do these stupid things? Last, she enters the Forbidden Tomb. Wow! By night, the Great Bat stole the Queen at 30 North and 90 East. From her pen, she wrote her heart. With light, unlock her love's release. I wonder if the White Queen is lonely.
light, unlock her love's release. It worked. This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the White Queen? The cup of St. John. The Apostle had been given a chalice of poisoned wine. But after his blessing, the poison transformed into a snake, and he drank the wine unharmed. The head of King David. From a shepherd to a king. Imagine that. A Byzantine scroll. Justice is the constant and perpetual wish to render everyone his due. Emperor Justinian. This is Egyptian, an evil eye box. The contents were meant to help sustain and provide for people in the afterlife. A quotation from Chaucer. What is better than wisdom? Woman. What is better than a good woman? Nothing. The Sun King, Louis XIV, married Maria Theresa, ending a long-standing war between France and Spain. The poor queen, Maria Theresa, died a painful death, to which the king said, this is the first trouble she has given me. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. Ugh. Ugh. Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. Baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. I wonder if it lost its mother too. A Yatiri, a South American healer. No matter where you stand, these masks seem to stare at you. This looks Mayan. Is it Kukulkan? I wonder who those two dogs are. This is from Colombia, a Xeno chieftain mask. I wonder if these eyes have seen El Dorado. I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. This is the kind of armour that the conquistadors wore during the Age of Discovery. I wonder what they found. A statue of an Ariki from the Cook Islands. 25th Dynasty. The interior of the sarcophagus is incredibly intricate. This looks Greek? No, Persian. I wonder what she's guarding. Persian lioness, but someone stole her head. I wonder what she was looking at. The death mask of Agamemnon, found in Mycenae. An African tribal mask, made of gold. Ashanti, perhaps.
great bat swings and fur. Yeah. <laughs> 